Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you guys for joining today's lesson. Um, we are going to be learning a ton of phrasal verbs with call. So um, if you've been studying English for a little bit, you might know that we have lots and lots of phrasal verbs. And um, especially with words like call, we can put um, a preposition after it. And then we have all of these different phrasal verbs, right? Hello, Taruf. Hello, 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 Shah. Charles, hello. Welcome, everyone. Thank you guys for coming. Um, before we get into our phrasal verb lesson, let me please remind you um, to please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, you can also uh, like me on Facebook if you haven't yet. Um, you can turn on notifications um, at both places. Um, you can also follow me on TikTok. I try to post there pretty regularly. Hello, hello. Oh, did you change your lecture time on Facebook? Um, I haven't really changed it per se, but I've just been quite busy recently. I have lots of um, uh, private lessons that I do. So um, I have to get those done and it, they've been taking a little bit more time recently. I will try to get back to my regular schedule as soon as possible though. Um, hello, Brenda. Oh, thank you, Charles. Okay. Hello, Roshan. Nice to see you guys. Okay. So phrasal verb lesson. Are you guys ready? I hope you are. So let me share my screen. Okay. We have phrasal verbs with call. Phrasal verbs with call. Very exciting. Oh, hello, Mickey from Peru. Hello from Vietnam. Welcome, everyone. Okay. So there are many phrasal verbs uh, in English and many phrasal verbs with the word call. Um, and sometimes the same phrasal verb can mean something different, okay? So they can have multiple meanings, right? Okay, so let's look at the first one, shall we? Okay, so phrasal verbs with call. The first one we have is call for. Oh, hello, Duali. Don't worry um, uh, if you're late because um, we've just started. Okay. So the first one that we're going to look at is call for. So we are, we're going to look at the first meaning. Okay. First meaning first. The meaning number one, to need or deserve a, a particular action, remark, or quality. Okay, so you think that if something calls for something, it means something deserves something, okay? Hello from Poland, welcome. Okay, so example, you got the lead role in the play? <gasps> well, this calls for a celebration. Okay, so the, if, you, if someone, if your friend got a lead role in a play, that means they got the main role. They're going to be the main character. So, wow, very nice. This calls for a celebration. So getting the lead role in the play deserves a celebration. Okay, it calls for a celebration. Very good. Let's go to the next meaning. So we're still on call for. Meaning number two is to demand that something happens. So different from the first meaning. To call for can also mean to demand that something happens. They called for the event to be canceled. They called for the event to be canceled, okay? So that means they demanded, all right? To call for something to happen, okay? I hope you're following me so far, very good. Next one, we have call in, call in, okay? Meaning number one. So again, there are multiple meanings. 
Meaning number one, to ask someone to come and help you. So the example we have here is we had to call in a specialist. We had to call in a specialist. So we had to ask someone to come and help us. So this could be, I just put specialist here, but um, we had to call in um, for a doctor. We had to call in for, we had to call in a, um, uh, another worker. It could be any, anybody. We had to call in someone. So somebody is going to come and they're going to help you. We had to call in someone. Okay. Very good. Next one, meaning number two. This one is pretty easy. Call in simply means to phone someone, to phone someone. So uh, where I am from in America, we usually use call in sick, call in or um, just call in, right? So uh, if I say, I called in sick to work, I called in sick to work. This means that I called my work and said, I can't come in today because I'm sick, all right? So I know in, I think, California area, some people say call out sick, but, the people that I know, everyone says call in sick. So that might be a regional thing, but to call in means um, you phone someone. And here, I called in sick to work. Or we can sometimes just say, I called in to work. That means that I'm sick and I did not go to work. Very good, okay. Next one, call out, call out. So this has several meanings as well to call out. Meaning number one is to speak loudly, to speak loudly, to call out, okay? So the example here is please call out the answer if you know it. So please call out. Um, if you are calling out something, that means you are using your voice a little bit loudly. Please call out the answer if you know it. Okay, I often say this to my students. So whoever knows the answer, you don't need to raise your hand. Just call out the answer. Call out. Okay, or if you call out to a friend, it means you're speaking pretty loudly. Hey, how are you? Okay, next one. Next meaning of call out. This is particularly for North America, okay? So here, meaning number two is draw critical attention to someone's unacceptable actions or behavior. So what this means is that if you think someone is not behaving correctly, if someone's uh, actions are not good, we have to criticize them or draw attention to it, okay? We call it out. So here, the example, I had to call him out on his lie. So call someone out like this, in this way, if somebody is not being good, um, it means kind of to confront them confront. Hey, I don't like that. Hey, that's not good. Your action is not good. Okay. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> hey, call me out. Hello, Monlay. Hello. I called you out. Very good. Okay. Next one. We have call on or call upon. Uh, these can kind of be interchangeable. Um, I think lots of people use call on these days. Meaning number one, to ask someone to do something. So this could also be formally ask, all right, formally, to ask someone to do something. Uh, here we have uh, two examples, one with on and one with upon. 
He called on his teammates to do their best. So that means they, the he, whoever he is, maybe he's the coach or he's the captain of the team. He asked his teammates to do their best. He called on them to do their best. The next one, the government called upon the people to unite. Okay, so the government asked everyone, all the people to come together, to unite. We can do this, whatever this is, right? So the government called upon the people to unite. Very good. All right, meaning number two. Uh, here I just put call on because I think it is uh, more natural to say call on than call upon for meaning number two. Meaning number two, to ask someone to speak. Okay, so I usually call on my students. So if I said your name, I would like you to uh, speak or I would like you to give an answer, okay? So here the example is, I wasn't paying attention in class and I was afraid my teacher would call on me. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't listening to the teacher. I was afraid the teacher would ask me to speak in front of everyone. So I would be called on. Okay. Ah, I see uh, Moses, Kima, has a good example of call out. I schooled my little brother not to call out my name in front of people. Very good. Okay, not to shout your name, call out your name. Okay, so this was call on. Everyone following so far? Very good. Oh, I'm glad you like this topic, Monlay. Very nice. Okay, so next one we have call back, call back. So um, the meaning is to call someone, meaning phone, to call someone again or to call someone who called you earlier, but for some reason you couldn't answer, okay? The example here, I'll have to call you back. So here we can see it's separable to call you back. I'll have to call you back because I'm tied up at the moment. Does anyone know this idiom? I'm tied up, I'm tied up. So uh, if you call someone and you say, hey, let's chat, but they say, oh, I'll have to call you back because I'm tied up at the moment. If someone is tied up, it means they are busy. I'm tied up. I am so busy. I don't have time to talk to you right now. I'm tied up. Okay, so maybe that's a new idiom for some of you. Very good. So callback is just to actually phone someone um, either that you, you need to talk to one more time or uh, you weren't able to answer their original call, okay? <laughs> I like this one. Maybe this is two people talking here. Call me back, please. I wish I could, but I don't want to. Very honest, very good. Uh, I, I would love to call you back, but I just don't want to. I like that, pretty funny. Okay, next one. Call off, ooh, call off. So meaning number one, I think is um, the most common use, call off. This simply means to cancel something, okay? Uh, call off means to cancel. We had to call off today's meeting due to an urgent matter. So something urgent, important came up. So we have to call off the meeting, all right? We have to call, we have to cancel it, okay? Um, if you had a plan to have a baseball game uh, tomorrow, 
but the weather is going to be really bad. A typhoon is coming. The baseball game was called off due to the typhoon, so it had to be canceled. All right. Mm, so that was meeting number one. So we have another meaning for call off that um, is used in just certain situations. Okay. Uh, to order the stop of an attack. Okay. To order the stop of an attack. So let me read the example first. The police called off their dogs once the suspect was in handcuffs. So maybe these police dogs were attacking um, the suspect, right? Somebody who probably committed a crime. The dogs are attacking, but the police could restrain the suspect, um, put them in handcuffs, arrest them. So Okay, the suspect is now in the custody of the police. So the police called off their dogs. They ordered the dogs to stop attacking. So um, we often hear this with um, dogs, call off your dogs. We can also use this, um, uh, especially recently uh, with the, um, you know, with online comments, for example, um, fans of one person might attack another person. So this person will ask maybe the celebrity or popular person online to call off their fans. Call off your fans. So tell your fans to stop attacking me, okay? So when you ask someone to call off someone, it means make them stop attacking, okay? Does that make sense? Ah, they called off their wedding. Very good. So they canceled their wedding. So it sounds like they're not getting married. Oh, no. Um, oh, we called off our date. Very good. So the date was canceled. Okay. Oh, this is pretty good. Call me back later, my friend. I'm not free. Very good. That was for call back. Very good job, okay? So next one. Oh, we have questions, very good. So we have five questions on our phrasal verbs with call, okay? So I hope you can get all of them correct. Let's hope, very good. Ah, really quick, Ted Tedwin is here. Uh, I don't want to call him out on his badly behaved. So uh, if you're going to use call someone out on their something, it should be a noun. So badly behaved is um, an adjective and, an, a, and a verb. So uh, sorry, an adverb and a verb. So here I would say, I don't want to call him out on his Bad behavior, bad behavior, okay? Wow, these phrasal verbs make me confused. I need more time to digest them. Yes, no problem. You can always go back and rewatch this lesson. There are many, many phrasal verbs. So let's try question number one. The president called something Congress to pass the bill. Okay, so the president called, hmm, we have called off or called on Congress to pass the bill. So Congress is a part of government and a bill is like a law, okay? So it's either off or on. You can write your answers in the comments. I see many people writing their answers, very good. So the correct answer for number one is on. Very good. Everyone got that one right, I think. So the president called on Congress to pass the bill. That means the president um, demanded or, you know, formally asked, 
formally asked Congress to pass the bill, okay? So maybe in front of the world, he called on Congress, he asked them to pass the bill. So remember, call off, we just learned, it means to cancel or to stop an attack. So neither of those meanings make sense for this one. Let's try question number two. Okay. When I was young, I used to call mm, sick to school if I forgot to study for a test. Mm, I hope none of you do this. <laughs> so when I was young, I used to call in sick or I used to call back sick to school if I forgot to study for a test. Oh, very good. I see Monlay, very good for number one. Uh, Chit, Brenda, good job. Excellent, okay. So the answer to number two is call in, call in. When I was young, I used to call in sick to school. So usually when you call to say you can't come either to work or to school, um, we usually say call in. I had to call in sick. So I phoned them to tell them I couldn't come. Call back means uh, somebody called you and you are calling again, right? So here, um, I used to call back sick. So we don't say call back sick, right? So call back, I called back later or something, right? So if sick is here, it doesn't really make sense with back. All right, question number three. I'm sorry, I forgot to call you mm, last night. Okay, so we know this one is a separable phrasal verb, phrasal verb. So I'm sorry I forgot to call you back last night or I'm sorry I forgot to call you for last night. Hmm, which one do you think? Oh, very good, everyone. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so the answer to question three is back. I'm sorry I forgot to call you back last night. Very good. Let's try question number four. Hopefully you can get this one. I got a promotion. Wow, great. Well, this calls mm, some champagne. Okay, so this one we have on or for. So if you don't know, a promotion is um, like a higher position at your job. So maybe a higher paying position at your company, wherever you work. Um, well, this calls something, some champagne. So champagne is like that sparkling wine, right? Okay, so we have this calls on some champagne or this calls for some champagne. Very good, everybody. I think everybody got this one right. Excellent. I got a promotion. Well, this calls for some champagne. So this situation deserves some champagne, okay? Calls for something. So um, a lot of the times you'll hear this calls for a celebration. This calls for a party. This calls for some champagne. You'll often hear it with um, something really exciting, like really good news. Okay, very good. The last question we have, question number five. Mm, can you get this one? Call mm, your guards. Call off your guards or call out your guards? Which one do you think is the best answer? The best answer, okay? A little bit tricky. Very good, Chit. Very good, Brenda. Okay, Lika, good job. Nice to see you again. Okay, so this one, 
The best answer is A, call off. Call off your guards. So you might hear this in a movie, for example. If the guards are attacking someone, maybe the main character, like the, the main character tries to go into a castle and the guards stop him. But he says, call off your guards to like the king. It means order them to stop their attack. Okay, to call off someone. Remember, call off your dogs, call off your guards. It means to make them stop attacking. Okay, call out your guards maybe here uh, doesn't make the most sense. Um, you could call out someone for bad behavior, but we don't really have any context for that. So I would say call off your guards is going to be the best answer. Okay, very good. So this was pretty tricky, a pretty long lesson, right? We have so many phrasal verbs in English. Um, the best way to practice phrasal verbs is to um, use them when you speak English, of course. Output is very, very helpful. Um, you can also listen to native speakers. If you don't know any native speakers, you can watch YouTube videos, movies, many things for free, right? So remember that phrasal verbs are tricky, but they're so, so common, okay? If you need help with uh, phrasal verbs with call, you can watch this lesson one more time. If you still have questions, please write your questions in the comments and I will try to reply to you when I have time, okay? Oh, very good. I have a brief time, so I will call you back later. Very good. Instead of saying I have a brief time, um, maybe I don't have any time. I don't have any time, so I will call you back later. Good job. Okay, I am so glad that you liked today's lesson. Oh, Moonlay got four out of five. Very good. I hope you um, can go back and check the one that you got wrong and maybe it makes sense. Okay, so uh, don't forget that you can uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, turn on notifications there, and you can also follow me on TikTok for very quick, short lessons. Wow, five out of five, Brenda, nice. Very good. So see, you got it. Nice job. Okay, I will be back uh, in a little bit with a lesson again on YouTube. I will have another live lesson uh, tomorrow on Facebook. I have a pretty busy schedule tomorrow, so I'll do my best, okay? Yes. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I had to call out yesterday's party because I was a bit under the weather. Very good. So, um, like I said before, um, some people say call out to mean, sorry, I can't come, but, uh, where I'm from in uh, the US, uh, we say call in. And I think in Canada too, they say call in. I had to call in to yesterday's party. It means you had to uh, say that you can't come. Okay, very good. Very good, everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back with more lessons for you. Thank you so much, and I will see you very, very soon with a brand new lesson. Bye, everyone. See you.